Lego Master 3261 here and today I went to WH Smith and I finally found the Lego Movie minifigures. So I picked up four and this is who I got. Now I know I normally do a video showing me open the figures but I, I did that and then when I was going back onto the computer to watch it back to check everything was okay I realised it was actually quite a bad video um, because the lighting was terrible and the quality just really wasn't good so I've moved to a place with improved lighting and I've done my best to increase the quality um, but of course because they've already been opened I can't do an opening so instead I'm just going to do it kind of like a review so without further ado let's just get into the figures so the first one I opened was Scribble Face Bad Cop and here he is uh, quite a cool figure um, he has a double sided face which is quite nice although the other side which I'll quickly show you isn't so nice I suppose you could say because it's actually quite freaky um, some of you may disagree but you know to me it definitely looks quite unusual for a face especially for a lego figure uh, but yeah I suppose it's kinda cool and you, might, you might be able to find some use for it and he does have printing on the body of course but he doesn't have any leg printing or back printing and he just comes with this uh, kind of mobile phone piece which looks quite cool kind of reminds me of an iPhone and then he just has these handcuffs and here's his normal face which is supposed to be his bad side um, and that looks quite cool so let's put the hat back on him and uh, yeah so there's scribble face bad cop and then the second figure I opened was I think her name's calamity drone sorry if I'm wrong but I really don't know these names I think that's her name anyway but yeah here she is she's quite a cool figure actually I like the printing on the body and on the skirt and this figure also has back printing which is quite nice and I also like the headpiece I've given her I think uh, it's quite cool especially because you can also um, attach or remove this kind of hat piece here that's quite cool and as you can see it's got the pin at the bottom and that just sticks into the hole at the top of her head so that just goes in if I can find the pin yep that just goes in like that and then the thing I like most about the figure is that they've actually given her shiny arms and if I remove the hair piece you can see that she actually has a shiny head as well just to kind of show that it's you know like a robotic metal kind of colour not just a dull grey so I really like that, I think that's quite a nice feature and the face printing is also quite cool, they've tried to make it as feminine as feminine as they can without completely screwing up kind of like they did with the series 11 robot but um, yeah so there is Calamity Drone just put her back there and then the third figure I opened was Wily Fusebot so here he is with his uh, kind of TNT dynamite piece and pistol and he's quite cool as well he's another drone so as you probably guessed he also has a shiny grey head he's got quite nice face printing and he has this headpiece which is quite cool it's like a raccoon hat I think that's quite nice and that's actually rubbery um, and he's got quite nice printing as well He's got uh, front printing, leg printing, and back printing as well. Um, so yeah, quite a cool figure. Maybe my favourite from the series, but I'm not sure. I, uh, I don't actually have a favourite from the series. I want to say Emmett, but then I think everyone's going to like Emmett. So I'm not really sure, but I'm kind of undecided between either Wily Fusebot, uh, the panda guy looks quite cool, or, um, what's the other one? I think, um, yeah, the Weber Pants guy also looks quite cool, so I'm not really sure, maybe between those three. And now we have the last figure that I got, and that is the Abraham Lincoln figure. And he's quite cool. He's got a big headpiece. 
I think that's the biggest kind of hat we've had in the collect all minifigures. And that also attaches to um, his kind of hair and beard. That's all one piece. And it's rubber as well, as you can see it kind of, I can bend it. And that's just all black. And he has quite a cool face as well. And he has body printing, but no leg or any back printing, unfortunately. But I suppose not all the figures can have a lot of printing. Um, and then he just has this uh, piece that's got writing on it that says four score and seven years ago and then the writing underneath you can't read because it's small um, but yeah so there's the Abraham Lincoln figure so there are all the figures I've got I'll just quickly line them up so you can see all together um, so like I said at the start of the video if you live in the UK and you're still looking for these figures or you just want to buy some more just go to um, your local WH Smith and they should be there because that's where they were for me. They actually had two boxes. So that was quite cool. So I knew that I'd be able to find who I wanted. And of course, as always, I use the kind of feeling method to get these figures because I hate getting duplicates. So I try as much as I can to not just go blindly and get random figures because unless it's the figure that you could get a duplicate of, you know, like an army building figure, I really don't like getting duplicates. Especially because these things are now £2.50, which is even more than they were before. So getting a duplicate, it's really not something I want to do. So I always make sure that I know who I've got. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and comment below on your opinion. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And I'll be seeing you all in my next video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.